Okay, so the first part of these video, this video, um, we're going to talk about the engine when it's cold. What I look for when I look to buy a machine, and the first thing I do is I'll look under the machine for any leaks. Um, you know, especially around the rear main seal, which is where the uh, engine couples into the transmission. Um, I'll look around the hydraulic pump and the rear, uh, the main valve body. Um, you know, a good idea is to ask uh, the people that own the equipment uh, how long the machine's been sitting there, uh, because a machine that hasn't been run can be worse than a machine that's been run. Plus, if they've just moved it, you won't see any evidence of any leaks on the ground. Um, you want to determine if the engine compartment's been uh, steam cleaned. Um, if it has, it's harder to check for any signs of oil or fluid leaks. Um, but um, So again, you want to check under the engine. You want to check at the rear main seal. Um, you want to check uh, the valve cover gasket and the head cover gasket. Um, you, um, you know, check for uh, leaks. Um, you want to check the hydraulic and the oil filters also. Um, and the fuel filter. A lot of times people will have uh, hours written on the uh, filters. So what I do is I'll, I'll note the hours on, that are written on the filters and I'll compare them and check them for reasonableness on the uh, hour meter that's in the cab. Um, you, you can determine what parts, if any, have been rebuilt. Um, they'll have like a newish color to them. Um, if you look at this machine here, you can see that the uh, engine's actually a different color than the, uh, the body of the machine. So this machine, although I can't say for certain that this is a rebuilt engine, I'm almost positive it is which isn't necessarily a bad thing to be a good thing. Um, you can see here that this, uh, we just put an air conditioning system on this machine. This compressor is new. These wires are new. So you can tell kind of uh, what, uh, if there's been some new stuff put, put on the machine. The other thing you want to do is you want to pull the dipstick on the machine and uh, you want to, you know, kind of look, make sure that the engine's kind of a black uh, or a dark caramel color. Um, if the engine oil is milky milky in color, you want to run, don't walk, run away from the machine because uh, if the oil has a milky appearance, the machine is likely to have had a bad head gasket uh, that has leaked antifreeze. Um, also, if the engine oil is perfectly clean, I would be suspect of that also. Um, I think we'll start another video.